Hi guys, good morning, how are you doing? Welcome to yet another episode from Kise Live Stream. If you're watching us on Facebook, please don't forget to like our page. If you're watching us on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Karibuni sana, I'm Elizabeth Mutinda and I'll be taking you through as usual. I have someone with me, but before that, please make sure you do take care of yourself because there's a lot that is happening in the country due to the situation of the economy, people are getting killed, some are being kidnapped, so I hope you are keeping safe. So karibuni sana and uh, please um, don't forget to play with the comment sections as per usual. So without further ado, I'm going to welcome my uh, guest and he's going to introduce himself and then we will get right in into what we, we have for you today. So karibu sana Mr. Kide. Thank you. Please introduce yourself. Okay, my name is, my official names are Gideon, um, a software engineer trainer, also taking uh, Android. So today we shall be covering um, a simple application in Android. So I'll we'll show you what's how Android apps are developed. Okay, so we are going to be talking about Android. Uh, if you have a, a phone, if it's not an iPhone, then it's an Android, of course. So we are going to talk about Android and we are going to show you steps on how to create a simple login. So first things first, what is, an, what is Android? So Android is a framework developed by a company known as Google. I know we have worked with Google, mostly in Google. Uh, the browser such as a search engine, but also they are the developers of uh, uh, the Android operating system, which works on a smartphone. So that operating system on the Android phone, which is the mostly used Android, is the mostly used operating system on a smartphone. Okay, and what uh, or how do you create a or rather, what is an Android project? So an Android project, you can say it's a project developed by uh, you, which you create on an IDE. So an IDE is an integrated development environment like uh, Android Studio, you can use IntelliJ, you can use Edpip, you can use uh, Visual Studio. So, so in the one of the menus is you create a new project uh, uh, which is containing all the all the files and um, uh, all the files required to create an application. Okay, in which language do you use? So, for the official ID, the official ID is uh, Android Studio. So, the languages they offer are two, which is Java and Kotlin, and the side of programming and design. Of course, design does not change, it's always XML, extended markup language. But uh, uh, for the side of the activity, we use uh, uh, Java. I've got it for now. Uh, I'm using Java, so, but uh, Kotlin is also an option. So there are other options. Yes. And um, which one would you say is the best for Android? Putting in mind now we are talking about Android. Um, so the official language is Kotlin. Uh, normally it's Kotlin. The, the official language is Kotlin, but Java still remains. Um, an option to officially uh, Kotlin is the official language. Okay, take us through now. Yeah, ready. So as you can see from my screen there, I have I've already created a simple sample. So I need to create first for a new project. As we discussed earlier, we said how to create a new project yet. Uh, you are creating a new app. So in that case to create a new app you need to create a new project. So when you need to create a new application, you have to go to file. So as you can see, there are many multiple menus here. One of them is a new, new, new project. So I create a new project. So I have different templates. I have different templates or a blueprint, a blueprint uh, from which I can develop my project. So normally we don't develop from scratch. 
you have at least somewhere you start. So, as you can see, I have the bottom navigation. I know you have seen some of these. You have seen the three dots here, which you see on your phone mostly. You have seen something like a drawer. Drawer is like this one, navigation drawer. You have seen something like a login form. There is a login form here if you want it. Uh, login form. Also, you have seen something like this. These are known as templates. I am choosing where do I would search another one with uh, the others with Google Maps. Yeah, so some of them with Google Maps and so on. So I just choose the one that um, I want. And this time we'll use an empty project. We want to create a simple empty project so that I can show you from scratch there. So an empty project, I go to next and I can give it a name. So by default, they have given it a specific name there. So I give it a name of my preference. So regardless of capital letters, small letters, I just give it a login. So the application, we are creating login. Uh, can say login panel. So as you can see now, we have a package name. Package name is com dot example dot uh, uh, login login panel. So that's uh, so that's like uh, the folder. So the the it's like the the, the stepping of the folder. So okay, let me see. cut you short. Yes. So what is a login form? So the login form is like a security check upon which you, you somebody uh, everyone has to go through mm -hmm. to get to a uh, to a particular uh, services or a particular uh, set of activities. So it's like the way you have a padlock in your house. So before you get inside the house, you need a padlock. So it's like a check to ensure authentication. So you go to ATM, you need to put your PIN number. So in our case, the, now here in uh, app is the, we talk about the login form now. Okay. You have to enter your username, which you registered. Of course, you have to have registered and the password which you have registered. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So my package, then where I start my project, where should you save? So of course the location, you need to note it. It's all here, see? And also I say the language you use, you have to Java and Kotlin. So they are kind of related in a way. It's easy to shift from Kotlin to Java and so on, and vice versa. So I'll use Java in this case. Then on a minimum SDK. So you have seen the version, the phone of your the version of your phone. You know, kuna marshmallow, there is Nojat, kuna Oreo, there is Pi. So one important thing to note in this is if you choose a very high, very high minimum SDK like that one, you can see your app will run on 6.7 devices. Have you ever seen your app you're installing tells you the app you cannot be installed? It means that the SDK is very high. So to be able to work on multiple devices, I'll choose a lower minimum SDK like Jerebin. Like that one now you can see it you app will work on automatic approximately 100 of devices so that's what i want not i work on devices mini so i think i've explained this well um, they are very important aspect uh, uh, because uh, they can affect your project anytime so there we finish and wait for the project uh, project to build okay <coughs> then uh, can you tell us the uh, to authenticate and looking for. So the, for the data resources we have many, you can have like most, uh, we have the SQLX database which is inbuilt, so it's all about the database. Database, you have the SQLX database which is inbuilt, you don't need any connection, just call the classes as, uh, and so on. We also have the Firebase which is a real-time database which you should uh, you just register and use it. So with that one, if you want to build an, like an online app, you can use a Firebase database. So you also you have you, have, you also have like a MySQL. You can use a MySQL, which of course you can uh, connect using PHP and so on. So this case is if you want to have an app which is a desktop or an app which is a website. A website. You have seen an app like uh, which an example is so an app that you can open on a desktop or a computer and still can open on a phone so if you want to do that you can use like mysql in this case this that case okay so
so from when my project has seen something grabbed up <coughs> project synchronization so this is a build tool that is building my project so that all the uh, my project can be built in, uh, in uh, the whole framework can be built so the, the grand has to be successful from for the project to switch off that we can start uh, building uh, or creating a project as you can see here there's there are no folders so it need to be successful it has to be successful for us to start creating the project uh, so as you can see here this is the product so it's finally it's successful it has to be successful there so it's just a build tool something that is compiling it's like a compilation it compiles all this code uh, so that they can be able to see something like this so as you can see here we said we are using java so we, you can see this class main activity dot java so we have two files that have opened this one activity so and um, the other one let me reduce the size of this so you have this one which is the activity what you normally see on the screen it's a layout this one is a layout the other one is known as an activity because it's a semi extent or it's inheriting activity see a class so you have a class main activity extending activity so we we'll start from creating the layout start from creating and i go to main activity main.xml the two files that have opened and um from here i can go to the code there are two three aspects here code split and design so i'll just go to code and i will change this layout a layout is just like the way you can organize your your yeah, items like chairs you can uh, uh, put them in rows and columns you can put them in a line like now i've told my my views views nikama battle nikama your text box nikaki do i've told them to be arranged in a line that's linear layout so i will come here and say android layout android orientation orientation means that i'm telling zipangwaji it can be vertical or horizontal nataka zipangwaji I want them to be vertical and you see uh, after that I will go back here there is a drop down here so I will uh, use some of the text fields so I'll, let me use a plain text uh, there it is I drag drop just drag drop a name then I put a password field we require three we require three items so then a button So that is how we arrange them uh, vertically. If it was, you can see if it was horizontal, it will be like this. It's just the way you arrange your items. So it's just not, it's not, it's just that this one is filling the entire area. Uh, they are supposed to be on the same line. So let me just put them vertical. Vertical. So. Uh, after this, uh, the, the, what I require uh, from this is like an ID. So you can see the ID here if you're using this uh, layout here. So you can also change them from the code. Like can, I can uh, change this ID. That ID is the one we are going to use in the Java because just realize this is a layout. I just, it's not connected to the, to the Java. So we need to connect it. So to connect it, I can just rename in a name that I can re. Uh, uh, reference letter edt username this is a username text field another thing in you just give it uh, edt password that's the name i'll be referring using the button i'll just say btn it's a button like i generalize btn submit yeah submit or login so from what I've done here, I've just given them the names, ID, ID, ID. I'm referencing them using an ID, ID. Because number one, uh, the main, main activity.java, which is the activity, does not understand the layout. So what it does, uh, it's now, it, what it does, it does have something called passing, passing. It converts this ID to something Java can understand. So. That's why there is an ID. Java can convert this to something it can understand. So I want to change this to a hint. Hint text is wrong. It's supposed to be a hint. Hint Nikitu Kama. 
have you seen an Android phone when you you have a, a login field you start writing this text uh, uh, like enter username it uh, it exits it's a hint not a text so I just put enter username instead of putting a label I put a text so this one also will be hint enter password so enter password so however this one they call it hard coding meaning that you're not supposed to be okay you're supposed to use the string.xml which is this in different yes. Yes. can you use any other id apart from android studio you can you can use Eclipse, you can use Visual Studio, uh, you can uh, so there are number IntelliJ, you can do use but the official the official ID is this one that I'm using and Re Studio is the official one. But others are just a choice. Uh, so uh, this one is known as hard coding, so if it's not recommended, so it can just go to values.xml. These strings that I'm writing, enter username, enter password, there's not supposed to be written like that. Uh, somehow uh, they have a resource known as string.xml so i can just uh, write these uh, strings of mine I just copy this one or i write it i just write the uh, three two one i'll give them a name the user username give them the other one is password for each for each of those items are given there is for button so i can just say here enter instead of writing the back there which is not recommended you should so this is a framework they, they, they have divided code that's what the reason we have we are dividing like this enter username enter password third uh, logging login here so i'll just go back here and use these names username password login to reference enter username you'll see it just write the same thing it will just be the same thing but they, they have divided code so there is a string resource so you just write like this it's something from the string dot examine it's a string so you just write string so you can see the name is string slash username you say username the other one is uh, you, um, password, right, which is string slash password. Then the other last one is uh, the same string slash login, and you're done. So, so if I can just explain the, the, the you can see there is some. Coins, uh, some uh, these views are like coinciding some aspect. We have layout width, which means width width of this edit text. How, what is the width? We are saying much parent to be the size of the screen, the full length of the screen. That's what we mean. And the reason of that is so that it can be responsive. Even if you use a 52 inch screen, it will still be responsive, meaning it will match the screen. If you put an absolute value like 10 dp 20 dp that um, that that uh, view or component will not stretch the screen so we have layout height wrap content means it should be con fit the content and what is the content content is what you have written here which is uh, enter username it should fit that text that would uh, the main so those are the basic main id and layout with and layout take they are the most important aspect now at least the hint like a hint or a or a text so with height id and um, like uh, something like a text they are most important they have to be there so nevertheless if you are a starter you can just be drag dropping and everything is cool because you'll be using this you'll be using these properties window so the XML should never be an issue because you can be changing here, wrap content, uh, whatever. So we have just uh, used both ways. So you can write, you can drag drop, you can go to the code and change, or you go to the design. Sometimes you use the main activity.java without using the XML. So, but I think we are good to go. We have created our, 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 um, our layout here. So the next thing is 
we go to main activity. So we need to reference whatever we have created. Remember we created an edit text. You saw it was known as an edit text. So it's an edit text and we have a button. We will reference those items. We need to reference them in the Java. So just edit text, give them a name, at least as something that is uh, almost a name that is uh, relating to it so that you cannot uh, so that you cannot confuse the items we have an edit text then we had a button one button just give it a name like btn login so this one is known as declaring you can just note here this is commenting declaring declaring items uh, uh, views we call them views or widgets sometimes so I import, I need to import this class because from the SDK I need to import the button, the edit text, so to this class. When I import, the, you can see them here, android.widget.button.edit text, they are imported already. Those are classes that have been created for you to use them instead of recreating your own, something that exists. So the next thing I reference, referencing views. widgets referencing my widget this is what I will do I will reference that view which I created so and these views are referenced in a file known as r.java it's the one I said that XML should be compiled in a, it's compiled in a file known as r.java so that's why you see I am referencing in something like r r is the class r.java inside it there is an ID a class ID, then the view we created. We created view edit username. Edit username. So the other one was ed password. You reference the same way. add.id. Dot dot edit password. Lastly, we need the other view which is button login. ID password, we have ID username. Yes, yeah, so the next thing I want to do is um, so when you click a button, there's something that happens like behind the scene. What does hap what happens? It's a listener, there's only an, 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 an on click listener setting on click listener on a button. I want to set this listener on a button so that when you set the listener it does something when you click so that so that when I click it responds so I'll just say btn btn login dot you just say set on click listener so you can go through the whole process or you can use a shortcut so the shortcut, uh, for those uh, that love the short way, you can just write like this. Then you are ready to write. So the wrong way, you can just uh, just write new view dot set on click listener. I'll just write view dot on click listen. And if so, I may ask, yes. how long will this take someone to develop an application? Yeah, uh, like any app or just, though it depends either if it's a whole a big project or what um, 
the campuses. Number two, it also depends on your um, skills. Mm -hmm. So how how good are you in writing? So what about simple app? How uh, simple you app, if you, uh, you don't have a lot of um, you are doing it your own without uh, maybe um, a lot. You have your time. You can have just like um, twenty minutes like this. Twenty minutes are enough. By testing it, you test and everything. So I have set a reasoner. So the only thing we are remaining is checking if I'll just assign username as admin and password as admin, then we check if it will be successful. So you say if you just say and number one you need to get the text from this edit text and the password. We need to get the those uh, those details. So how do we get it? You can just so we assign them a data type. A data type string is anything that is um, that is uh, either a word, is either a phrase. Well, that's what we mean by string. We have integer for numbers. We have double for uh, numbers with the decimals. So string means it's a text, something like a text. So that's why I sent as text. I can say username. So what is this username we are getting from this? In the username we say dot get text dot get text we get the text from that field then we say dot to string we change it to a string so we also have string password the other the password we just say ed password One. So, <coughs> I'm later here. It's uh, loaded, and we need to install the app. So, I just press this arrow here, run app, and it will it's supposed to install the application. So it's installing and it's launching. Launching succeeded. So I just enter the credential to which we assigned admin admin. That's what we assigned as our Logging credentials. I don't need the keyboard. I just use my laptop keyboard. I write admin as the username and the password as admin. I'll exit the keyboard. So then I press login. It's supposed to be says successful login or login successful. However, if I wrong password or mass password are not matching, it will be said login failed. So if I press so you can see that it's known as a toast. Login is successful mm -hmm. because they are matching. What if I just put something different? If I put some, something different like admin one, suppose we are expecting a message login failed. If not, then it's an error. So login, so the message is login failed. So our app is doing what we wanted it to do. So it's supposed to be uh, if if it's admin admin then the login is successful. However, if the password is wrong or the username does not match, it's uh, failed. So the app is uh, we can you can just modify from here. Like for example, if it's successful, you can clear this text. So you, uh, you can put a clear button or reset button and so on. So this is the most basic login form that we can have. Okay, so you guys, as you've seen, we've created an Android login form, if I'm not wrong. And uh, that was interesting. So if you want to join us or you want more information, you can just visit our website that is www.kenyainstitute.professional.com so the Kenya Institute of Software Engineering and Professional Studies dot com and also you can leave a comment suggestions opinions we are open and uh, yeah so Mr. Gideon any words to our audience parting shots so I would like to communicate to um, everyone wherever they are living the houses and wherever you are watching from yeah, I'll do that. We, uh, you can we say that uh, we can see that programming is uh, high demand. So high demand, more strict. 
most free Android applications or creating Android application. Why? Because uh, if you look at Kenya, let's be local, you can see that almost everyone has a smartphone. So if you are you can be you are targeting around millions of people compared to an, a, a computer app. If you are creating a computer app, how many people do have computer uh, laptops? Very few. So number one, target audience. What is the target audience? So how many people are you targeting? So for an Android app, uh, it's targeting a larger population compared to iOS, compared to Windows Phone. So Android is on high demand uh, due to that case of uh, most many people using Android phones. So it's a good uh, venture that you can take to teach yourself and advance in Android uh, in that case. Okay, so thank you guys for sticking around. Please don't forget to join us next Saturday or any time that you get a notification that we will be live. And uh, please do take care of yourselves and have an amazing weekend. See you. One.